Okay guys, try not to make any sudden movements and please be as quiet as possible. There is a berserker in the other room and I've managed to fight it off and hide. Okay Scott, um, oh you're you again. Okay, um, I've got my trusty bat. I'm gonna hope this protects me as good as it can. Um, pray for me. Let's get this recap started. All right, so the season four finale of Teen Wolf aired this week, and it was enlightening, thrilling, so many other things. There's not really one word I would use to describe this finale, this episode, but it was great. Um, so we were left with so many questions as we always are with Teen Wolf. But um, basically to sum up this episode, what happened is in episode 11, Scott had been turned into a berserker by Kate and basically Scott's pack, all of the pack, except for Lydia, who is gets stuck behind because a berserker traps her in Beacon Hills High School because she's a she is a banshee and she knows things. And so the pack is stuck without her, going to save Scott and Kira. Um Kate gets Scott to stab Kira. Kira learns how to heal herself. Um, Scott, ultimately, he's brought back to himself when he's choking Liam as the berserker. And Liam tells him, Scott, you're not a monster. You're a werewolf like me. And you can see it, you could see it in his eyes when he connected with himself again and really like figured out that what was happening and how to stop. And basically he just rips, he rips that uh, skull thing off of him and he, he calls out Peter because Peter planned this. He wanted, he was trying to get Malia and all of them to kill Scott unknowingly because Peter doesn't think Scott is worthy of the power he has. He thinks it's stolen and all this stuff. And Peter, being the idiot he is, he challenges Scott, does not win, gets knocked out, and gets locked up in Eichenhaus. But that's not all. That's just a, a part of what's, hap what's been happening. Derek, we think he's dead for a little while. He gets... He gets shot and we see him literally die and we're like, oh my God, he is freaking dead. They really killed him. No. Is that the berserker again? Okay. I better hurry. Um, he win the Calaveras and Chris Argent and Parrish and all of them come and help Brayden and Derek to take down Kate and the berserker at some point. Um, when Soraya is uh, fighting against Kate, we hear a howl. Brayden looks over. Derek's body's not there. Derek is the wolf. Now, this is my thing. When they show the wolf in the opening sequence of Teen Wolf, they show it with red eyes. So I think, okay, the wolf has to be an alpha. And then when they showed it in the mid-season uh, trailer, they did not show what color the eyes were. So I had no idea it could be Derek. Because I was like, Derek's losing his powers. This does not make sense. But there was always a, an inkling in my mind. It's like a Hale family thing. His mom turned into a wolf. His sister Laura turned into a wolf. And now he can turn into a wolf. And he's not in, even an alpha. So it must be just a Hale thing. I, I still don't understand why he had to lose all his powers for that to happen. Um, hopefully that is explained later on because it's really bugging me. Um, we did get some amazing steric uh, moments this episode, um, like when they had, they were in, in, the va in a van on the way to Mexico, uh, it's a full moon, Liam's trying to control himself, <laughs> Derek brings out that medallion, the Triskelion thing, and he's like telling him it's this symbol to help, it's 
this just it can help him control himself and it still just gives him this look like what are you on i know this is and he's like and Derek, Derek just gives him this look like play along play along well they he plays along and it doesn't work and then liam ends up having to chant the whole uh so Tomy's chant, the Buddhist werewolf chant, and that ends up helping. And that was Styles' idea. Um, Peter punches his daughter. That is not good parenting. You don't, seriously, y'all, you don't punch your kids. I know Peter's insane, but still, I mean, like, no. The one hu bit of humanity I saw him in him in this episode, the one bit was when Derek, he thought Derek was dead. He saw Derek dying. You could see in his eyes, he was like, oh my God. That, uh, that was really the only inkling of his humanity you really get in the finale. After that, he just goes in full on psychotic Peter mode, as usual. Um, Chris shoots up Kate with some of that yellow wolfsbane. Now, I'm not really sure, like, I think this was that flat, the wolfsbane he had found at this, this time, that point, um... It's not, I don't think it's what the ha the twins have. I'm not sure. It it might be. I don't know. But I, the twins basically had said that it would kill eventually. They don't get it out. Like it would make its way to the heart and kill them. So I'm assuming it's not the same wolfsbane. Maybe there's two different types of yellow wolfsbane or something. I just know that the liquid in bo for both uh, wolfsbane, uh, they were both yellow. So I don't know. But basically it was just slow Kate down. Um, Chris goes off with the Calaveras and, and the, and to go find Kate at the end of the episode. Um, we see Brayden and Derek go off into the sunset. I'm, they're not going anywhere. I'm, I'm sure they're not. Um, the pack's all reunited and it's all cool and dandy, but let's talk about badass Lydia moment because I am all for that shit. Um, so Lydia and Mason get stuck in the school, like I said. But one thing, Mason looks at her like she's nuts because you cannot. Lydia knows it, but she's like, I have to save my help my friends because she knows Scott is gonna die, and that's why Peter and Kate got her trapped in the school with a berserker guarding her because they don't want, they didn't want everyone to know that that berserker they were fighting was Scott. So basically. Lydia grabs a baseball bat or whatever, some kind of bat, runs to the berserker. Mason actually runs before her with a bat as well. And then he's just like, they get thrown off and, and stuff and they're just hiding. And Sheriff Stalinsky comes and saves the day, throws a bomb into the berserker's hands, and kaboom. I really liked that. That was just great. I love Sheriff Stalinsky. Um, Kira's got a tail now. He's got, she's earned her first tail or whatever. Don't. I want them to explain it a little bit more because it's still not fully explained. They, they're like, oh, it, that, I think they will eventually, hopefully. Um, in the end, we also see uh, Lydia and Paracene. Now, I'm going to touch on this. They're, basically, Lydia brings the bestiary to Parish. Got one right here. And cleverly enough, which I thought was really funny, I don't know if y'all notice it. She turned to the Canima page. I was like, yeah. I, I was waiting for her to be like, yeah, I dated one of them. Just saying. Miss you, Jackson. Your evil, awesome self. But um, she's basically saying she wants to help him figure out what he is. And that what he is might be in the bestiary. bestiary. It's not in this bestiary. Because they don't give it, they don't give us any creatures we have not been introduced to before on Teen Wolf. So we're just going to have to wait. I have my theories. Could be a phoenix, the most popular theory. Could be some kind of dragon. Um, where? I don't know. Um, some kind of elemental. I don't know if it's a kitsune. I, I don't really want it to be him be, to be a kitsune because that would just be boring because we already have two kitsunes on the show. Um, Something I'm going to touch on, because I know a lot of people probably been thinking about this. Um, if or when a Lydia and Parrish match up or whatever happens, it's not going to be illegal, y'all. 
Lydia is about to be 18 and Parrish is about 24 years old. So it would be okay. I'm still, I still, and this is my personal opinion. Y'all, I, a lot of people like Styles and Malia together. I like them together, but I still love Lydia and Styles together a lot. And that's just me. That's my personal opinion. I'm entitled to it. Um, but I do love Lydia and Parrish. Their chemistry is great. They play off each other well. And I'd really be interested to see where that relationship could go. Um, there's a lot of great character development this season. Um, Scott really learned how to become an alpha. Like, he was already a true alpha. He was an alpha. But he really had to, like, grow up and learn how to handle his new role. And he's really stepped up, and I'm really proud of him. Styles is... Styles is Styles, and he is amazing. And Dylan O'Brien rocks. I I just he gets he's amazing. I, I he's gonna be like a, a badass like private investigator or something one day. I see that happening for Styles. I don't even know if he. I don't think he'd be a cop. I think he would be more like a private investigator because he's that good. Um, one <laughs> I love this scene. I have to talk about it. When Peter gets thrown into Hiken House, he's like, you think you shoot me up with uh, Wolfsbane and it, it'll hold me and all this stuff? And then he's in with uh, that crazy doctor. They put him in, in that cell, the three-eyed doctor. Um, and basically, he's like, yeah, you're this is made out, the walls are made of mountain ash and you're not going anywhere. And then he pulls off the bandage and shows his third eye and... <sighs> This is something new for Peter. Peter does a terrified, just gut-wrenching wrenching scream of horror. And I'm just like, <laughs> it was great. It was really great. And yes. And I think I've pretty much covered everything. Uh, we, I won't be having recap and reviews for Teen Wolf until... I think next summer, I think that's when season five is happening, unfortunately. I know the cast have, have, a, have a lot going on, and, like, Dylan O'Brien is promoting the Maze Runner, and Posey is getting married, and uh, they need a break. They, they had a big season three, and it was, like, all nonstop. They've been filming nonstop for, for a while now. So I understand it's going to be a painful wait. I'm trying to figure out some kind of Teen Wolf videos to do at least once a month until season five if y'all have any suggestions um leave them in the comments below um remember to like subscribe and share this video if you enjoyed it i really appreciate it i will see y'all very soon um i'm i i, I better go um I think the Berserker is back. Um, I better, um, I better go take care of this. See y'all soon. Bye.